name's David Tepper. I am currently the assistant grappling coach at Yamasaki Academy of Woodbridge, which is primarily a jiu-jitsu school. My background involves traditional martial arts growing up. As you can see here, these are trophies for, or awards for different degrees of black belt that I had achieved growing up. Uh, you can see behind me my foray into mixed martial arts. This was my very first fight. A few different pictures there. Um, so I started traditionally, or in traditional martial arts, and then transitioned in high school into wrestling. Then from wrestling, I fell in love with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and uh, mixed martial arts from there. In addition to Muay Thai, which is very similar to kickboxing and uh, incorporates knees, elbows, it's known as the art of eight limbs. So I've been very involved with uh, the academy that I train and teach at and I've been training for pretty much my whole life but primary jiu-jitsu and wrestling are my strong suits so I've been training those for about uh, 12 years in jiu-jitsu and I wrestled throughout high school. All right, this poster uh, was made by my coach, Joe Cunningham. It was um, for in March 10th, 2012 in Winchester, Virginia, in an organization called Lights Out Combat. This was my first fight. I was extremely nervous for it. Um, I ended up winning by submission, which is part of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, in the first round in 47 seconds. Uh, below here you can see my uh, one of my training partners Jonathan Escalona also one of his fights uh, by TKO which means the referee stopped the fight uh, due to ongoing uh, punches. This shirt I've had for a while now which um, is one of our Academy's uh, shirts that we sell. It is primarily, it depicts Muay Thai, someone throwing a knee, which is one of the uh, main weapons used in Muay Thai. And you can see the sort of Thai script, even though it's in English, it has a Thai kind of vibe to it. Um, and so it's comfortable. I, I like it. And uh, Reminds people where I train and it's good advertising. In mixed martial arts, every fight starts standing up, so you have to know how to be able to defend yourself standing up and on the ground. Uh, even if you have one specialty, in which case mine is on the ground, uh, you have to be able to, or you have to be knowledgeable in all areas. And so, uh, throwing punches, kicks, knees, elbows, uh, you know, it's very important um, in order to, you know, stay safe in a fight. Yeah, I've definitely fallen in love lately with teaching. Uh, I teach primarily the Grappling Fundamentals program at our academy, which is every Monday and Wednesday from 7.30 to 8.15. Um, they, instead of throwing newer people into the advanced class which you know some can intimidate some people and you know they might be shown a bunch of moves they're not familiar with or haven't seen before um, you know we introduce them slowly to the you know basic concepts and you know start building a foundation to build up from there so that once they go into the uh, advanced class they're they have a solid idea of, you know, how to defend themselves and what to do. In addition, I cover uh, most classes if our head instructor isn't gone or isn't there to teach class for whatever reason, whether he's sick or otherwise. Um, so, you know, I teach as often as I can and I've really learned to enjoy it. I would say don't find the right school for you because different schools have different mentalities. Some schools, I won't mention names, are known for being much rougher and uh, 
you know, much more competition based, which is perfectly fine. You know, some people are more tailored towards that. Other people. Other schools are more tailored towards sort of a family kind of environment uh, where the focus is a bit more on the technique and, uh, you know, the general atmosphere. Um, in addition, I would say one of the common or most common excuses I hear for not starting training in jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, wrestling, what have you, is uh, not feeling that they're in shape to begin with when, you know, the misconception is that, you know, by doing the exercises itself, if, uh, you know, even if you begin, begin gradually, uh, you'll get in the shape necessary to compete and train uh, at that level. Uh, don't have to worry about getting in gym shape or lifting weights. Just jump in there, you'll learn as you go, and uh, if you get you know, become part of a, you know, good school, uh, they'll help you and won't, you know, take advantage of you. Any final words? Uh, please check us out at Yamasaki Woodbridge. Uh, my head instructor is Joe Cunningham. I'm David Tepper. Um, we specialize in jiu-jitsu, but uh, we have a uh, vastly growing uh, Muay Thai team as well, MMA team, um, and Jiu Jitsu competition team. Uh, so if you want to learn how to defend yourself, or if you just want to learn some techniques, or if you want to be a high level competitor, feel free to drop by. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Sound good?